What's up, guys? You're chilling with Cypher here in the Cypher Studios in San Pedro, California. Ah! You're watching the Pedro music scene. Keep your eyes and ears and nose and all five other senses open for all the new music coming from Pedro. Check the shit out, guys. Thank you. What up, it's Luke the Duke, chilling live with Cypher. Hey, hey, hey. How you doing? music scene, catching up with the homeboy Cypher. We got Sean here. Oh, yeah. Hello, hello. Anthony. Nice to meet you. Nice to please you. We got you. baby brother Timmy. Hello, San Pedro. Hello, world. Yeah. We're presenting live for you right now, Pedro Music Scene. We're going to a special interview with these guys in a live performance. So, Cypher, how you guys doing? Can you please give me a, a brief summarization of the history of Cypher from beginning to end, if you can? Band history. Brief band history. Uh, well, we started out probably in middle school playing our instruments, but as far as the formation of uh, Cypher is concerned, me and Sean and uh, a couple of local guys on drums and uh, just a couple of different singers here and there, a year here, a year there. And then uh, after that, come to realize that the real solution lied just right under our roof it was just having all of us in the same gang, you know what I'm saying? Yes, we got indeed, Tim yes, on the skates beating them nightly. We got Sean on the Makes bass fucking Makes working sense. it all day long. And uh, we're just glad to be blessed and have uh, the little relationship we have, even aside from being musicians. Um, we all just, you know, been jamming for quite some time and we just can't wait to give y'all a piece. <laughs> You guys have been around for a long time. You have many dedicated fans all over Pedro and the South Bay. Uh, can you explain to me what you guys think is the main reason why people are so into your guys' uh, music? I think uh, it's just obvious that we have a lot of fun when we play shows, and we have fun on stage at shows, have a good time, interact with the crowd. I think the music we play is uh, kind of it's kind of old school. Uh, Rock and roll feel, you know, Van Halen esque kind of with a good happy, time, good feel. time feel, but uh, it's got a good ball smashing groove and a little uh, funky, kind of fresh, <laughs> fresh, good stuff, just like this guy's pits in the morning. Already fresh. As far <laughs> as uh, why people probably like the stuff is and be supportive is because they think they realize how much it is that we put into it ourselves, how much work and effort we put into it, and. Uh, you know, that's just, that's just, there's no filler for that. If you don't put in your work and all that, I mean, good luck, you know. There's a few far in between that'll do it, but <coughs> as you know, it takes whatever you want to do in life. May it be your Ferrari technician or your number one bum that collect 35 fucking million bottle cans. Uh, you know, what you put into it is what you're going to get out of it, so thank you. Okay, so starting with Timmy, can you please give me some of your influences as, as far as made you want to become a drummer or a musician? All right, some of my influences, Calvin here, he's been a big inspiration, <laughs> looking at his smart, articulate, big brain. No, um, <laughs> no, um, influences, I've liked everything. Some of my first stuff was good old uh, Vinnie Paul from a metal band called Pantera, to uh, Chad Smith, to the, king, to the king of uh, drummers, Buddy Rich, to... Elvin Jones, big teeth, black guy, but amazing. Best drummer I know for jazz. And uh, so many others. I like Cream, Ginger Baker's amazing. I could I could name a million people. Any drummer I ever heard, even the bad ones, because they teach me what not to do. <laughs> and uh, yeah, man, those are some of my influences. Thank you, Johnny Boy. Ah, uh, shoot, man. I'd say from Beatles to Pantera. Shoot, anything in between, you know, it's all good. Anything that's any sounds, music related and not music related. Any sounds in the world and the universe is just influences me, man. I gotta say. Hear the birds chirping in the morning makes me wanna go. Hey, let's pay some. 
as far as my influences go, I'd have to say that I like uh, a nice variety of Van Halen and uh, Ozzy Osbourne. Uh, of course, you know, anything that Zach Wilde, Randy Rhodes, uh, Jakey Lee. Um, as my brothers mentioned before, you know, the Beatles. And also, uh, what people don't know is like I'm a, I'm a pretty avid funk master, you know. I mean, I, I like to get down with the James Brown because that guy is the, you know, the godfather of soul. And I figured if you could little implement a little something like that, guy's got something going on, you know. But uh, I like, you know, soul, R&B. Make you shake your booty. Rap, like, like, like it was said before, you know. I mean, the more you have to offer, the more you have to offer. You know? That's all there is to it. Yeah, yeah same with that. Said well. That was, yeah. that was put well. <laughs> I mean, when it comes down to it, uh, you'd rather have variety and give people a little, a little, uh, little taste of what else you can do. You know, not like it's a show-off competition, but just because I think there's too many emotions in the human life for one particular style, just one straight style to actually put it all into perspective. So.